Mm, it's like a relaxing. It's like a relaxing beat today. Yeah. Which is kind of fitting. I don't know why it's fitting. It just feels fitting for me. Oh yeah. I only had one coffee this morning, so. I can't make any promises. But I promise I can't make some promises. All right, I take that back. I promise today to bring to you the greatest show on the entire internet. And and it's, it has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with Will because he has A gathered. Pressure. He has gathered only the most important things for us. Sure. He has made promises to me. So now I make promises to you because he's made promises to me. Promises for all. <laughs> Each and every one. All right. What do we got? Oh, yes. Okay. So I heard about this. I heard about this. Mm. I don't know how to feel. I don't know what to think about it. We have uh, the, the weirdest launch, sort of launch ever in the history of smartphones. Yeah, they launched it on Twitter. We're just talking about the, a day ago. the new Google <laughs> Pixel. It was just like, it was like a series of tweets. It's like, here you go. Like, yeah, no big deal. No. Google is so strange with that. Um, they always kind of stumble into these, into these, into launching these products. I don't know if it's intentional that in some way it takes the heat off in some way, or maybe it's their software company origin where they're like, Hey, let's get it out there and see what people feel. Let's get some feedback. <laughs> Come back in 30 minutes. We'll launch it on Twitter. Hey, Team Pixel, we have a preview to share. Or, you know, or do they just not care because it's not their entire business? Or maybe they're just playing with the leaks, you know, since they already came out. It's like mine as well. Just show it off. But most com most companies at this scale don't do that. We, we, no. we have so much experience with Apple that it, or, or even Samsung, you take your pick to, to know that they it's. They maintain the secrecy up until the very last moment, and even in the presence of leaks and, and so forth, they never they never really embrace that level of transparency. I don't mind it, right? I've looked at a lot of smartphones. I've seen a lot of smartphone events. I don't mind them uh, taking a more casual approach to it. Mm -hmm. we, 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 you and I have seen um, – Recently, it was OnePlus with the Nord 2. They they realized that we're seeing so many typical launch events that they did something completely off the wall. And maybe this is another version of it, which is just like, hey, here's a phone. We've been working on it. Here's a few tweets. And uh, here's our new chip. Yes, the uh, Google Tensor. Everyone's very curious because no one really knows the specifications on it. Mm-hmm. All we know about this is it's the first processor designed by Google, custom made for Pixel, mm -hmm. making it their fastest phone ever. But who made it? We don't know who made it. We don't know what process it's made on. We don't know the various attributes of this thing. So definitely not Qualcomm. Apparently their stock went down as soon as Interesting. Uh, nope. um, the tweets were out. Sure. And it wasn't a huge drop, but you can yeah. kind of see now it's starting to drop more. Right. <laughs> so it's definitely not Qualcomm. Well, well sure, right, because obviously. they're saying it's custom made. Yeah. Yeah. But it it it, it is likely ARM architecture. Mm -hmm. there, there's just a there's just there still remains a lot of unknowns. But they wanted to show off something. Are they trying? Are they trying to uh, possibly put their name in the hat and say, hey, if you were thinking about getting a new smartphone? You might want to hold off because we got something coming for you. And we'll, we'll show you a little bit in order to have you hold off because you don't upgrade your smartphone that frequently. Maybe there's some of that. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they're just so damn excited about this new device. I don't know. Yeah. So Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, they do look a little different if you just scroll back up. The Pro has a slightly larger, uh, what would you call it, forehead? I guess because it's on the back. A slightly larger mullet. I'm just trying to, what would be the forehead equivalent on the back sure. side? Uh, uh, more cameras as well. It looks like one extra camera on the rear. They have a flash in the same location. And they got this really weird layout where you have this horizontal bar that goes across. I don't even know how I feel about it yet. It seems yeah. very modern. Like a visor. Although it's protruded out too. For sure. Right. It's so. a bump out. 
but it's symmetrical. So if you lay it on a table, it's going to have a slight incline upward, but not a wobble. No wobble. Side to side, which might be nice. Hopefully it's not too sharp here, the edges. That's also a large button on the side there. Yeah. Like, that's quite long. Uh-huh. So would that... So you think it's power button volume? I, no, because... Wait a sec. Normally you don't have... Normally you don't have that like that. But that would be very confusing. I don't know what these two buttons... Did they did they tell us what, what this layout means? No. No uh, big features. That's, like, for uh, example, no the details. fingerprint scanner, is it in display? Did they tell us that? It is, yes. It's in display. Okay, yeah. so it's not like there's some kind of uh, um, fingerprint scanner in the side button. I guess people just like the, the larger button at this point. Pixel mm. 6 is also built with the most layers of hardware security in any phone. It's 13 total tweets, the announcement here. Yeah. <laughs> Speech recognition is another foundational technology where you will see a huge improvement in Pixel 6. Oh, why? I don't know. Do we have better... Uh, software or do we have an improvement in the microphones voice commands translation captioning and dictation well google knows what they're doing with the software mm -hmm. man when it comes to voice to text anything any type of voice input and of course assistant yes it's a uh, next level magical stuff i don't think they'll use the word magical but apple might if it were them mm -hmm. Um, the colors, the camera, the form. Yes, many different color combinations with the two-tone thing going on. You can go completely black executive, but then you can also have a stormtrooper look, or you can mix and match various levels of elegance slash modernness. What do you think about the design, Will? I'm excited to check it out. I think it's really cool. You like the design of it? Yeah, it's different. And mm -hmm. I've always liked Pixel phones. Which color combo would you be going with yourself? Oh, um yeah i gotta stay with the black the black with the with the gray on top probably there. the pixel six though because so, this is uh okay so they're kind of that all black but it is still a two-tone thing right am i am i crazy here it with, is yeah the top portion yep. looks lighter even on the black model yeah interesting so go to the pro and show me that silver and then the white those are very oh that's so not this white. is like a that's peach. yellow okay peach a silver and a black yeah. and then let's look at the three on the six yeah oh yeah i'm boring like you i'm going for that one too you want to go with this one yeah i'm going with that one too but the pro uh no uh, pro, pro um, it depends i gotta look at the feature set oh, i gotta okay. look at the feature set and how, how big it actually is but anyway yeah i've been a pixel fan in the, uh, in the past i've used every single pixel device this is the first time they have uh, this Tensor chip that they custom made. So hopefully it's got some fast performance. Hopefully they didn't skimp on battery life, uh, which has been hit and miss on the Pixel series in the past. But mm -hmm. I, you're, you're guessing that there's rumors about this. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look at all these rumors. You just got to go to 9 to 5 Google. Sure. Tensor chip, 120 hertz display. Ooh, beautiful. 4X zoom and under display fingerprint. Okay, so we have some specs at least uh, out here. I believe there's a display size as well. Here we go. 6.4 inch on the smaller, what? The smaller model is 6.4. Ah, it's only 90 hertz and 1080p. I see. So maybe I do have to go for the big one then. And then the Pro. 6.7. I have to have another huge phone. Well, hertz. I got to have another huge phone. Yeah. Tensor Titan M2. Ooh, they got the M's in there as well. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, they call it gray black and they claim battery is all day. My favorite term in technology yeah. world. Hey, how long's the battery all day? What oh, that, what does that mean? <laughs> whose day? My day? Yeah. Your day? What day? What happens yeah. in that day? Uh, my ever since I got really involved in life lately, my screen time has gone way down. Mm. So that's not even impressive. If it's all day for me, that don't mean anything. Lately, yeah. you can have two days, three days battery. I got really involved in life lately. Yeah. I hear about it. So Yeah, you hear about it off the air. Yeah. You have no choice. I come in here ranting and raving, mm -hmm. bantering. Oh, actually, that brings me to today's sponsor. Uh, this is one of the ways I get involved with life is by eating food. <laughs> sure. Because that's a really lively thing to do. Uh-huh. And it can be, you know what I had the other day was uh, I had wings. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I had... Um, I had some lemon pepper. I had some 
a dry Cajun. You know, I always get the dry Cajun. Mm-hmm. And I had some smoky barbecue, which I like better than just regular sweet barbecue. If you have a little smoke flavor. Uh, but I just made everybody hungry now. Yeah. With the wing talk. But well, they could go to DoorDash. They can order go, something you, you can go to DoorDash <laughs> and get your own wings. Sure. And let me know which flavor you went for because it's going to be at your door before you know it. You can leave a comment down here. Before you're done watching this show, your wings will have arrived. Mm-hmm. And then you can leave it in the comments what flavor you got. Uh, but actually, on DoorDash, you can do more now. You can get your household essentials as well in 30 minutes or less. That's crazy. Dinner, check. Deodorant, check. Morning pick-me-up from Duncan, check. Everything you need whenever you need it with DoorDash. Uh, even if you want Chinese food and they want pizza, there's something for everyone. You could actually have two orders if you're really crazy like that. But um, anyway, get those restaurants that you love. Order up those wings Watch the Olympics. Eat some wings and watch the Olympics. That's what you should do today after you're done watching this, of course. That's a combo right there. For a limited time, uh, you can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code LULATER2021. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code LULATER2021. Don't forget the code Lou later 2021. That's how you get your 25% off. All right, get to it. Go get your wings. What's your wing flavor, Will? Did we talk about this before? Um, I like uh, just regular hot wings. But maybe with um, wait a second, wait, 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 some wait. scotch H- on Hang it. on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What? There's absolutely no way you're gonna cop out with that. Regular oh, hot wings. You um, have you have mild, medium, hot, you have uh so- Extra suicide. You have all kinds of different so I, I levels like, uh, to it. Scotch bonnet. That kind of sauce is really good. It's not too hot. What would you also, call it? It's like a medium. Yeah, it's like a medium. Similar to jalapeno in a way. Okay. In, in terms of spiciness, you're a medium guy. Medium um, spice. But I like the dips more. Mm. So I like. Is it like a dill or blue cheese? Blue cheese. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, are you dipping my, every my... single bite? Um. No, I like to change it up sometimes. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Wow, this is quite a development over here. I'm very glad that we had this conversation. Yeah. Uh, what about when they give you the celery sticks and the carrot sticks with your thing? I, I enjoy it. It's yeah. kind of nice with the it's fresh. Variety. Uh-huh. Oh, and then the last one for you, since we're on the topic. Okay. Uh, of the two varieties of chicken wing, mm-hmm. you know how you have the long slender portion and then you have the drumstick portion? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is a controversial subject. Some people like one much more than the other. I'm not a fan of drumsticks. Uh, I'll take the... Uh, the is slender. It the wing? The, the wing. slender? Sure. The wing, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm a big fan of the slender. I'm just thing. glad we got to the bottom of this. If any of you guys in, uh, end up taking Will to the wing spot, uh, now you already know what he wants. Or yeah. if you, if you I prefer it. Want to or- You can order Will wings. On DoorDash and just send it over and request no drumsticks, medium, uh, lots of blue cheese dip, and sure. plenty of celery and carrot sticks. What about you? We're not talking about me today. <laughs> Apple is now selling standalone Magic Keyboard with Touch ID starting at 149 This is another story that I sort of briefly figured out because I saw a PSA on uh, Twitter. Somebody uh. was stating... Don't buy this unless you have an M1 Mac because it won't work. Mm. The uh, Magic Keyboard with Touch ID. I only have one of them sitting around from that uh, the blue iMac, which I have used very infrequently. Uh, but it works really well. And Do you uh, like the typing experience? Eh, it's a small keyboard. Oh, okay. If you're used to a MacBook, then it's kind of in the same realm. The uh, the direction keys have driven driven me nuts since they've mm. existed with the larger left right and then the smaller up down. Mm. But I don't know. I'm 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 I'm, I'm nitpicking. They obviously want to have a simple. But look how slim. nice it is. I know. I know what they want to do here. Well, yeah. and if you have one any kind of crazy setup like I do, then they also are very lightweight, and they don't take up too much space. If you want to have like a trackpad and a big mm-hmm. mouse, like I have a Logitech mouse. And so they're the point of them is obviously to be very uh, slender. 
mm -hmm. in every direction. And then Touch ID is obviously great. Uh, Touch ID, you're unlocking your computer very quickly. Uh, but you need to have an M1 Mac. So I think there's a lot of people that would have thought, oh, this is going to be great for my old Mac. Now I can unlock it with my fingerprint. Mm. Uh, because if you think about the, the M1 Macs that exist, the laptops have their own Touch ID already there. Mm -hmm. And the iMac ships with that keyboard. So who wants this keyboard? Right? Who's buying this keyboard? I guess it's a person who has... Here, let me break it down for you. It's a person who has an M1 Mac, but they like to use it in a more dock sort of position. Sure. Maybe on a stand or something along these lines. That person can now still use Touch ID mm -hmm. on their desk with the laptop being slightly further away. That's who it's for, Will. Okay. We just determined it. Yeah. Get a nice little braided cable there as well. 150 bucks is 150 bucks, though. Still lightning. Still lightning, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have it sitting over there. 150 bucks is still 150 bucks, though. I just feel the need to reiterate that. Yeah, and with the numeric pad, it's uh, 180. 180 bucks is 180 bucks, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, Will, but as far as keyboards go, it's a few bucks. Yeah. Well, okay. Or do you just add it to cart and you don't even care, guy like you? I'll buy know. 10. Okay, so yeah. I'm sorry I misread the situation there. Did you uh, hear about this? Uh, Steve Jobs personal bomber jacket. Wow, you 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 go deep on the Steve Jobs the auction, auction news. Yeah, I think it's kind of fun. We're never gonna miss any auction news. Check out this picture though. Oh. I mean, it could it's be like half blinking. You know what's weird is. What? Wait a second. Is that picture a part of the thing, or it's just the only picture they had of him in that bomber jacket? Yeah, unfortunately, with I his uh, eyes half closed. He's not happy about that. Um, but you get to buy the jacket there, the bomber that okay. he's holding. How much? You can kind of see all of the things that uh, it's up for auction. Oh, cool. What so a I lot have? of autographed things, um, but hmm. um, some apparel as well that he's worn. Hmm. Is there anyone that piques your interest here? Well, I'll there's some the, old tech, obviously. I'm, I'm assuming the bomber jacket is the uh, highest estimate of the bunch. I, obviously, I want the bomber jacket. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not the highest. Oh, see, you have it sorted by bid, but they're all low right now because they're all starting at low sure, numbers yeah. with a higher estimate. The Steve Jobs typed letter, signed, estimated to go for 10000 plus. So that's cool. Yeah, 50 grand for yeah. the Mac World cover signed. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. You got the Steve Jobs autograph and the Steve Wozniak. No, I, you know what I want, Will, is the Magnavox satellite phone. This one? M model MX 2020P. That's right. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. <laughs> Where's the bomber jacket? What do I got to pay for it? Uh, so there's oh, this one. Oh, baby. That's the one I'm That's taking. 25 grand. The estimated. That looks cool. And he wore it. He he wore it. <laughs> Steve Jobs it's personally cool. owned and worn leather bomber jacket. Minimum bid twenty five hundred, and the estimate is twenty five thousand. Yes, look at this one, the Apple One computer. Four hundred and fifty thousand dollars expected to go for. Yeah, I guess it's cool, but I don't know. I think I might still take the bomber instead. You would. Oh, well, the bomber's not here for some reason. What do you mean? You just had it. Oh, the other bomber. Where oh, he was... Uh, it's a double bomber? Maybe it says here. Uh-oh. Willie, do you let me astray <laughs> here? <laughs> what? To fetch over 600 bucks. No, no, no. Which I feel no, like no, it's no, not... No, no, it's no, worth no. way more No, than no, that. no. I'll give you 600 for that right now. Yeah. That's not going to go. You could for. be Steve Jobs. No, but I don't even need this bomber. Like, I want the other bomber. Oh. The leather one that was, yeah, that's a, that's what I need right there. That's a nice look. Yeah, throw a bid on that for me, Will. All right. Uh, just use your credit card. All right. All right. 25000 <laughs> Buy it right now. Is there a buy it right now? Worn in the iconic 1983 middle finger to IBM photo. Whoa. Can you find that photo? Oh, it's probably maybe it's down there. I just feel like we need to see this photo real quick. Wilkes Bashford. That's the maker of the jacket. 
Uh, he gave the middle finger to IBM in a photo wearing this bomber jacket in 1983, two years before I was born. Wow. Stop it. That's an iconic jacket now. That's cool. Look at that jacket. I'm just raising the price right now. I'm like, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, give, I'll bid 2500 and everybody's like, yeah, that's the best jacket. I'll give 100 grand for it right now. Middle finger. Yeah. That's cool. It's, it's a great story. You can have it in like a glass case and anybody asks and you're like, "Well, that's mm -hmm. That's the jacket from that photo. Cool." Google offers Stadia controller Chromecast in $100 bundle. Man, you show me this controller. Uh, I got a picture last night sent to me mm. from my house. I wasn't home. And my dog had taken a PlayStation 5 controller and completely chewed off both of the thumbsticks. Mm. And I was wondering about you. Uh -oh. it, it made me think of you because you've had, right. you know, you had Otis obviously chews everything or yeah. he has in the past. And I was wondering about your emotional status when things like that happen. Um. Like my personal stuff or stuff that he's not supposed to choose. No, no, right? I'm just saying like if this is you, your will, yeah. you you are will do and you're and you come home. Yeah. Right. And Otis was in there by himself for a little while and you see the PlayStation 5 controller and both thumbsticks are chewed off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is your emotional state? Well, yeah, you got to be truthful and say definitely irate. Because <laughs> I, in that, like, why? in that moment, I just pictured you for some reason because I just, I felt like you probably had a similar experience recently. And maybe because they're both similar dogs, I was just like, yeah, it's kind of power hard. chewers. Yeah, it's just kind of, it's also hard to, and I don't know. I just, but I, there's nothing you can do at that point. You just be <laughs> mad and it's like, it's over. It's like, what? What can you do? <laughs> oh, man. I'll show it. But it uh, sucks. I'll show you the photo later. It would suck. I'll show you the photo later. But you just, it is, it is the feeling of why? Why that? Yeah. You could chew anything. Like, why did it have yeah. to be that? I don't even know where it was left or uh, how she got it and why the thumbsticks were so interesting, but probably mm. the rubber or whatever mm -hmm. it happens to be on there. And I was gone all day, so I'm, I'm sure she was bored. But, man, what a feeling. And I'm sure other people can relate to it. It's such a weird feeling of not knowing how to react. Anyway, this this story is about Stadia, the Stadia controller. And uh, they continue to try to make it attractive to people by bundling it together. Uh, the Play and Watch bundle will give you the Stadia controller, a Chromecast with Google TV for 100 bucks. It'll save you 20 bucks compared to buying the gamepad and the dongle separately. So they're going to take the crowd that's already thinking about getting a Chromecast mm -hmm. and be like, why don't you just get the controller just in case? We'll yes. give you some savings on that. And maybe you end up becoming a Stadia subscriber in the long term yeah. and playing some of these games. My last experience goofing around with Stadia was with uh, Cyberpunk and it works well. Yeah, it did. Uh, so I was cool with it. That's about as much as I can say on it because I haven't been gaming all that much, but that's, I can definitely give you that much. Mm -hmm. YouTube premium light subscription is offering ad free viewing for less. This is being piloted in Europe. Premium light. Well, I'm a premium member. You're a premium member uh -huh. uh, here, but a full premium, not premium light. Obviously this looks like, I guess it's going to be a little bit less money, 699 and it's going to give you ad few uh, ad free viewing, but probably without music. Uh, no music and no background play. Oh, that's weird. Give yeah. them the, give them the background play at least. No, no. Jeez. Okay. And offline downloads, I guess. A new offering gives users even more choice: premium light, six ninety nine, or the local equivalent, and includes ad free videos on YouTube. Uh, in comparison, the existing existing premium plan in that market is twelve bucks. Premium Light includes ad-free viewing across YouTube's main app on the web, iOS, Android, smart TVs, and game consoles, as well as in the YouTube Kids app. However, it doesn't include any YouTube music benefits like ad-free listening, and it doesn't include background playback for when you want to switch to another app while continuing to listen to audio, listen to audio from YouTube video or offline downloads. All right, so you, I, I, I just want to give people a recap on this. If you get YouTube Premium, which I encourage people to do because obviously I'm a 
I use it myself and love it. Nobody, you know, it, 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 first of all, if you need to have a music subscription, you want to have a music subscri subscription, I'm talking about the full premium. Imagine you would pay the same as some other music service, but then also get ad-free YouTube and background play and whatever other advantages exist. Plus, myself, the, the person posting a video, we get a percentage of your premium subscription when you have it. Yeah. So it's beneficial uh, to me as well. So if you go sign up for premium, you are actually contributing to this show right here without uh, watching the ad. Mm -hmm. So I'm a big proponent of it. I hope it doesn't become a billion dollars, but right now it's a pretty good value. And you get it for even less because you're spread it out with all the family and stuff. For sure. I'm curious friends. to see how this, uh, this goes. Because people just don't want to watch ads. So if they give the, give you a subscription that's just ad free without any of the other features, it it's another option. But how do you weigh it? Like as far as when 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 you think about your uh, whatever per month, I don't even. I, I'm sorry, I don't know what it costs. Is it? I don't know either. I I pay with a family plan. So so per person, just, it's something like I think it's like eight bucks, maybe less. Okay, so you have it even less with the, I think so with the family plan. But like, what portion of it is would you say is relative to the music service versus the ad free portion? Like, which is more important to you? Uh, ad free. Ad free. But music is up there too. Because when I'm driving, it's just put on some music. And you would have otherwise had Spotify or something else. Yeah, or yeah. a podcast or something. Yeah. So. Cool. All right. Yeah. What do we have here? Rivian's electric SUV climbs an insane 45 degree slope like it's nothing. Yeah. They're out here showing off. They're in Moab. That's a cool color as well on that Rivian. It like blends in yeah. with the rock. It's like a metallic Mars color. It's so cool. Wow, look at the approach angle here. Holy cow. Well, that was the hard part, making the angle. And then once it's got the traction, no problem. Oh, look at this four wheel drive. Ooh, those noises are a little terrifying. Steep climb. I mean, they're showing it to you, Will. They're saying, hey, we're the real deal. This is a, uh, we got four wheels driving here. Uh -huh. This ain't no street only vehicle. Now just give us $100,000 minimum, please. Yeah. And thank you. I mean, there's no situation would I would ever go no? in this environment. <laughs> are you sure? Well, it's 45 degrees. Right? Maybe you're out there camping or... Oh, yeah. I mean, like, sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably go here. But nice. in terms of this kind of steep <laughs> climb, I, I I don't know. Our Rivian R1S is climbing a 100% grade or 45 degree slope at Moab. Stock vehicle, zero modification. Very impressive work by the team. You got a couple of views here on Twitter. Okay, they say it starts at seventy thousand. I, you, you and I both know the one that Willie Do gets is a hundred grand minimum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's expected to have three hundred miles of range on a single charge, though the range is pending EPA review. I mean, I, it looks like a real deal SUV to me. I'm very excited for it. I like the look of it. I don't know how it's all going to map out as far as these elect electric SUV wars are concerned, but the Rivian is starting to look like a complete product. Mm-hmm. All right, last one. Sony stops McDonald's from giving away PS5 controls. Ooh, did you hear about this? Legal stuff. No, I did not. Break it down for me. So in Australia, there's like a, well, the 50th anniversary of McDonald's, uh, Australia decided to uh, create um, McDonald's-inspired PS5 that controllers. That so cool. <laughs> and decided to give them away. And McDonald's didn't like that. No. Sony, no, uh, Sony, didn't, like Sony that. didn't like that. McDonald's didn't even say anything. Right. They're like, yeah, we're just going to reskin these right. uh, controllers. Right, right, right. And uh, yeah, they, they unfortunately stopped this, uh, this giveaway. Celebration of the company's 50th birthday in Australia. Weirdly, the international dining behemoth forgot to ask Sony about this. I mean, if it's just a skin or a sticker, is it really that big of a deal? I don't know. I don't know. I think, yeah. This is <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, I would like, think, like, what is the negative aspect? You're promoting the PlayStation. I guess 
That's a I hard guess, one for me. I, I guess, guess they should have asked. It's, it's, it, yes. Maybe it's just the, 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 the fact that, that normally you would have some degree of communication over this. As soon as Sony caught wind of the giveaway, they stepped in and blocked it with McDonald's having to quickly send out a follow-up announcement. Let, is that below, the follow-up mm -hmm. announcement? Yeah. Unfortunately, McDonald's Stream Week has been postponed and won't be going ahead this Sunday. We are unable to confirm a new date for the proposed event at this time. We will have some great prizing, including Macca's 50th birthday hoodies and 50 channel subscriptions for each streamer to give away. We will be in contact with the new timing as soon as... We have confirmed it. Sony PlayStation has not authorized the use of its controller and promotional materials related to the proposed Stream Week event, and we apologize for any inconvenience caused. McDonald's Stream Week has been postponed, and yeah, yada yada yada. What can I say? I, I know it's never really a good look to go and sh flex your muscles and shut it down. I presume McDonald, you know, M McDonald's never had the rights, and they're a huge company themselves, and so Sony wanted to get to the bottom of it, but. Uh, I like fun things and I like fun companies and I like fries and Big Macs and PlayStation controllers. And I actually need a PlayStation controller. Yeah, we need a new one. Because unfortunately, my dog thought that the controller itself was the Big Mac. Yeah. <laughs> they should send us a couple of these. <laughs> Oh man, your reaction when I asked you how you would feel, that was so raw and real and I, I know you've been there before. Yeah. I know you've been there. We've before. all been there. Every, yeah, if you have a dog, you've been there, man. You've been there. It's okay.